the nurse brought me this nice little gift. Hello, hello. This is Glenda with from Freelands and Friends Crafts Plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am in this room tonight just show for a moment to show you a couple more props from our Halloween extravaganza. And this will be one of them. No, I'm not going to wear it. <laughs> and this. Ha <laughs> ha I didn't really feel a lot, did I? <laughs> okay, we'll go in the other room. Okay, I had a visit from a health professional today having to do with my insurance, my um, <sighs> advantage care. And they're going to keep a nice track on me, so that's fine. I get in-home checkups. <laughs> I don't have my knees in. I'll be back. Well, that was certainly spooky enough to be. That could have been our Halloween. <laughs> See, I got him. This is the thing. You all know I have COPD. Well, you all know I have, have this thing sticking in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's called oxygen. Well, that's what comes through it. This is a cannula. <laughs> and I take medication every week. Now, I don't think the lighting is probably best. This is what we fill every week. That's just the morning. Never mind. <laughs> Let's just say in the mornings, that pretty much fills that little cup part of my hand. But I'm trying to be <laughs> I'm trying to be a little funny, but very serious. Because I also have medications I take for my bipolar. So there's some other stuff in there like that. And then I have, uh, let's just say I got enough diagnosis to be 65 years old, which I am. The nurse brought me this nice little gift, little something for completing your house calls visit. Well, I didn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> so, next. Okay. Not everything I take is a prescription, but it's mostly recommended by doctors. Oh, let's get in some better light. This is nuts. There's vitamins, there's calcium, there's, if you're older, you know what I mean. Depending on what your diagnosis is, whether you're young, old, or in between, but as you get older, certain things happen. Oh, heavens. I could not believe it when a couple of years ago, Joe came home. He came home and said that the, he had measured 5'9". It's like, what? You haven't got any shorter. I'd stand up next to him and say, no, I don't think you're any shorter. He says, I don't know, that's what they measured me. Because he'd been measuring 5'10 and a half for years. Well, I had been, every time I went in, they asked me what my height was, and I was like 5'3". Well, this nurse decided that she had to measure me. Five, one and a half. I am shortened. It might explain some things, though, why I'm a little bent in the mornings, why Joe doesn't seem any shorter. That's life. <laughs> That is life. And I remember when I started getting taller than my mom, and she did not, she didn't like tell me telling her the, mom, you're getting short. <laughs> she didn't like that. She wasn't really mad, but she, she'd she give me some, some little side eye, you know. <laughs> the doctor measures me the same as he always did. Well, he may have measured her the same way, but it doesn't mean she measured the same. I don't know why I wasn't there. No, it actually was a nice 
um, they have these things now that I never dreamed of. I mean, they've got these deals in order to measure the circulation in your hands and your feet to see how well you're getting circulation there. They put these little strap-on warm warming packs on your fingers and your toes, your big toes and your index fingers. And they warm them up and then they put this little deal clip on there that's hooked to their computer and it does like kind of a little EKG thing. And mine turned out fine, at least she told me it did. It looked weird to me when it was running. It looked more like a lie detector test. But <laughs> she said, no, that's good. So I guess I'm doing okay. I really am. I just thought, well, you know, I would just report on my day and give you a few little hints that aren't really hints much at all. <laughs> so, oh, uh, I have had, I've had a good day. I really have. She asked me to, I'm 65, just turned 65. Now get this. She asked me to tell her every surgery I've had in a lifetime. Let's start at four years old. Because when I was four, they were taking out everybody's tonsils and adenoids. <laughs> they didn't realize that they helped with anything, so they just tucked them all out. And then at 10, I had my appendix out because I got appendicitis. And just on and on. I mean, <laughs> and then you get up there in years and you get things like you problems with your knees because you tore the cartilage so they go in there and fix that well actually they go in and just take out the bad parts just stuff just little little surgeries that you have Ugh. but they want to know them all especially if you've had any anesthesia and that makes sense but every little biopsy benign biopsies thank goodness but wow a lot of people go through life without ever worrying about that. My grandmother, I think she had, she had one surgery. And she had a, she had her appendix out when she was in her 80s. They sent her home and said not to do any heavy lifting for six weeks. Mom went in the next week and she was down on the floor scrubbing the floor with, on her hands and knees. Yep. And I think that's the only surgery she ever had. Now they had an accident. They had a car accident. And grandma flew forward and hit, they think, they think it was the radio knob or something ripped her scalp open. They said they thought she had a little concussion three days. She was up going around doing whatever she wanted to do. I'm 65 and I can't claim any of that. Is it me or is it our whole generation? Oh dear. I'm probably <laughs> the truth can be funny. It, if you don't laugh, it hurts. It hurts anyway, but it hurts worse if you don't laugh. Doesn't really make any change in my health. <laughs> so I just as well get used to it and live with it the best I can and live my optimal life. So there are times when you have to get to the point where you realize Life has been life, and you can't change it. So with that, I'm going to show you something very lively to end this off. Aren't those looking good? Should we make some more of those little flower things to decorate pots with? Huh? Do you think we should? I think it might be cool. So... Until tomorrow. <laughs> I was all up in your face there. Until tomorrow, I love you. And be kind to yourself and others. I love you. Okay.
Good night.